The movie begins with a look into the past. In ancient times, monsters like werewolves, vampires, demons, and goblins ruled the earth. Normal humans all over the world were either scared or eaten. As the years went by, the monster decided to change their way of life. So began a time of peace as the monsters started to work with the humans. Some of the monsters decided to remain and live with the humans, while others left to much more distant and magical areas. In the present, we are introduced to Vlad, he is a young vampire. His father decided that he should attend a special school for various magical creatures. On their way to the academy, Vlad and his father get lost in the deep forest. The navigation system in their car is not working and his father gets frustrated. Soon they are met by a creepy old man. He opens a giant book and tells Vlad that he is part of an ancient curse. Finally, after a long journey, they arrive at their destination. It's a small and unique town in the middle of nowhere. While from a distance it looks small, when they arrive with their car, they see just how many people live there. We see amazing buildings and shops. Vlad is really impressed and taken aback. His father takes his eyes off the road for a second, and they almost hit a bicycle rider. And we see the bicycle transformed into an older version. This causes the police to arrive to talk with them. His father sorts the issue out and the police officer wants to know if Vlad is a new student here. Soon, Vlad and his father arrive at their new home. It's a pretty old building and their apartment is above an antique shop. He really doesn't like this new house, as he feels it's ready to crumble from being so old. The two of them get settled in, and Vlad is a bit nervous about starting his new school. His father tells him that he is special, and he has nothing to worry about. When night arrives, Vlad goes to bed and his father is left alone. He remembers his late wife and is a bit sad. Suddenly, a strange man in a cloak appears in his house. This man gives him a giant list of things he must pay. While he is now in town, and then the man disappears. It's the morning of the entrance ceremony, and Vlad is very excited. His father stayed up all night doing the bills, and told his son that he will join him, but first, he must go to the town hall. Vlad goes alone to the school, and gets introduced to many strange people. He meets a couple of powerful elves, who are getting into a fight with the school bullies. He also gets to meet Wolf, who seems to be a young werewolf boy. The two become fast friends, even if Wolf is a bit awkward in social situations. Vlad soon meets Wolf's parents who sniff him. Since they are full-blown werewolves, there are many students at the school and their parents as well. While that is happening, his father arrives at town hall and wants to make a deal regarding the massive amounts of bills. He runs into trouble, which is why he misses Vlad's opening ceremony at his new school. Vlad sits down next to Wolf, and they listen to the headmaster giving the opening speech for a new school year. And they are with all students, all of whom have special powers. In the meantime, Vlad's father father is now confronted by the mayor of the town. For him and his son to remain in this magical town, he must pay. If he can't pay, he could give special objects called the blood fragments to the major. It seems that the mayor is very interested in these fragments, while Vlad's father doesn't want to part with them. He explains to the major that the fragments belong to Vlad's late mother and are his now. The major decides to not push any further, but it's obvious that he has other nefarious plans. The headmaster starts to summon all the new students on the stage. Vlad gets even more nervous as he has to go on stage without his father being present. The headmaster uses her special magic to summon the children's abilities. His father arrives just in time to see his son transform into a true vampire, and the other students all show off their powers. But soon, an accident happens when one of the fairies falls on Vlad, and the students still have no control over their abilities. Later, Vlad feels embarrassed and he tries to get some advice from his father. It seems that Vlad is very sensitive to blood, and even pukes when he sees it. He is a vampire afraid of blood, and that is a problem. Wolf also had a pretty bad reaction to his powers, and his parents are really worried. The fairy called Faye, she is the one who fell on Vlad, is also heartbroken as she is now the laughingstock of the entire school. During the night, the major's assistant gets revealed to be a witch, and she tries to steal the blood fragment from Vlad's room. His father Barnabas hears something, but the witch manages to steal the necklace. 
When she returns to the Major, it's revealed that the necklace has returned to Vlad as it's protected by a powerful magic. The following day at school, Vlad and Faye are both bullied. One of the school bullies pretends to bleed out so that Vlad will vomit. The janitor of the school helps Vlad and shames the other students for being cruel. All the girls at school are still looking at the video of Faye falling down. Vlad decides to run away from town and he goes deep into the forest. He meets up with Faye and Wolf who are also running away away from home, and the three kids decide to go on their adventure together. When they reach the bridge, the creepy troll prevents them from going any further. Before he can attack, the janitor arrives and stops him with his magic. It's revealed that the janitor of the school is actually a powerful wizard, and he helps the kids. They spend some time in his magical house, but soon continue their journey. They explore the forest, and Faye shows off her powers which really impresses Vlad. Later, they make their way into an ancient library, in search of more information about his necklace. They are met by a dangerous dog, but Wolf decides to stop him, while Vlad and Faye continue their journey. They arrive at a bottomless pit, it's the last step until they arrive at the library. Vlad has to use his vampire sonar powers to figure out the puzzle. He and Faye manage to jump over the pit, and they reach the main room of the library. Meanwhile, the witch visits Vlad's father. She uses her spell to demand that he tells Vlad to sell his necklace. He is totally under her influence, and he promises to talk to his son later. Vlad and Faye start to explore the library, but the book that they are looking for is really high up in the sky. There are no other options, and Faye must use her wings to get the book. She closes her eyes and gets the book, but drops it on Vlad's head. Wolf cannot contain the monster dog and tells his friends to hurry. The three kids run away from the dog and save themselves at the last minute. The mayor is furious because Vlad now has the ancient book. The three friends sit by a tree and open the book. It tells the story of Lucifer and how he wants vampires, werewolves, and other monsters to be evil once more and turn humanity into slaves. The book reveals that very soon, Lucifer will turn all the citizens of this magical town back into evil monsters. And this event will happen in 13 hours. They decide to act and prevent this from happening. The Major is furious at this, and his witch sends a special spell after the kids. This spell affects them in a way that they say the opposite of what they think. When Vlad arrives home, his father wants him to sell the blood fragment necklace. And because of the spell, Vlad accepts the offer. Vlad calls his friends and locks himself in his room with the book. All of them are also cursed by the spell, but they agree to meet at the fountain in a few hours. Vlad spends all night reading the book, trying to find something useful about stopping Lucifer and his sinister plan, but he falls asleep. The following morning, he meets up with his friends, and they all figure out that his blood fragment is at the center of Lucifer's plot. It seems that the stone will be used to turn back time and make the monsters evil again. The kids realize that the real power is in the town hall, and they decide to go there. By using his vampire powers, masks himself in front of the cameras, while Faye and Wolf keep the security guard occupied. The security guard spots something strange in the cameras, but he thinks they are just broken. Vlad meets some zombies that work in the town hall. Also his crystal is going crazy since entering the building. Something is obviously here. Vlad climbs to the very top of the building and there he finds a giant crystal just like his. It seems that his small crystal is just a fragment of a much larger plan. His necklace almost combines with the giant crystal, and his bag transformed into an older version too. This is like what happened in the beginning, when the bike transformed into an older version, and he runs away before anything can happen. Later, he meets with his friends, and they realize that the major of their town is in fact Lucifer himself. Lucifer is furious that he still doesn't have the necklace, so he orders his which finds it. Vlad realizes that as long as he is in the town, Lucifer will be able to pull off his plan. And the three go to the bridge. Vlad decides that he will leave forever because this way the crystal will never be activated and the monster will live in peace. Just as he leaves, Lucifer shows up and kidnaps Faye. He demands that Vlad gives him the necklace or he will kill her. Meanwhile, his father faces off against the witch in his house. In the town, the people have all gathered near the town hall. Everyone is ready for the solar eclipse that will happen shortly, they have no idea what their major is planning. Vlad goes to the top of the tower and gives Lucifer the final fragment. Lucifer combines it with the giant crystal and it's almost time for his final plan. The eclipse starts and the crystal starts to activate. Suddenly, Vlad's fragment disappears, it seems that he tricked the devil himself. 
himself. Vlad gave the crystal to his wizard friend from school. Lucifer is now furious, as his plan that he spent hundreds of years forming has totally failed. Lucifer knocks out Vlad, and then throws Fay off the tower. Wolf finally transforms into a giant werewolf, and then beats up Lucifer, while Fay activates her wings as well. The three kids manage to defeat Lucifer, and save their town, and everything returns to normal. Vlad is happy that he now has control of his vampire powers, and great friends. And the future of the small magic town is looking brighter with each passing day. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Back in my bag and I gotta brag, I do this shit for real. When we was down and we had nothing, we had to share a meal. We put the shit in overdrive with no steering wheel.